So my 12 year old wanted to do this project that he saw on YouTube. So I know you guys have seen these. Um, they take three quarter inch schedule 40 PVC pipe, uh, five foot long and make uh, like a 35 to 45 pound draw bow out of them um, by adding these fiberglass um, highway markers as a core. So he asked me if I knew how to do this and of course being his father I was like yes son I've been making these for years and then I ran and found a video on YouTube went out and bought all the materials taught myself how to make it. So I got enough to make paracord I already had this other stuff I already had um, the things you need are one five foot piece of three quarter inch schedule 40 PVC pipe for one bow you need uh, three of these fiberglass uh, highway markers a paracord for um, the string some sort of saw to cut the fiberglass markers with a file in the video I saw the guy uh, had a rat tail file I have a couple other files you could probably use too um, to notch in where the string goes duct tape to once you get these cut down like I'm going to show you to tape these together and slide them up in to make the core sharpie to mark your measurements and a measuring tape and it's I mean it's really simple you measure I think he does like uh, an inch from the end make your mark same thing on the other side an inch from the end then you find your center of your five feet then measure two inches on either side so you know about where center is you take your three markers I'm gonna take these little rubber tips off of them you put them essentially like this and then this last one you cut in half so imagine this cut in half and it's doubled up and then double up the center like that duct tape this slide the core in the duct tape kind of pads it out and makes it thicker so it holds it in there and then you string it so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna do a practice round and then I'm going to help him make one uh, I got another one for my nine-year-old I think you can make them without the core but um, they don't they don't keep their shape and they don't draw as heavy and then I have a four-year-old too and now he wants to make one so I had to go back uh, to actually I went to home I got all this stuff from Lowe's uh, I went back to Home Depot and got half inch PVC that I'm gonna cut down and then just maybe use one of these as a core for his and then we'll just wrap extra tape on there so that it holds it in so that he can have one too all right that's the plan uh, oh this the materials I have nine of these driveway markers again I already had this other stuff so all I bought for this project were the nine fiberglass uh, highway or driveway markers and these are going to be over <laughs> near the yard sale signs just so you know um, the lady who was helping me didn't even know where they were but they're over by the for sale and yard sale signs in Lowe's um, yeah I don't know where they are in Home Depot and then these are over in the plumbing and these come at at Home Depot they only had 10 foot sections at Lowe's they had them already cut to five foot sections so these three plus these nine came out to twenty six dollars after my military discount so what's twenty six divided by three it's like eight dollars and something so we'll eight times three is twenty four plus some change like thirty three whatever eight dollars and some change for the materials to make one of them
the first thing I'm going to do is get all my measurements. So, I think I said an inch from each side. happy with that and then one of these is gonna have to get cut in half so I'm not gonna file or cut in the room these tips just kind of slide off um, but I'm going to go ahead and mark this this should be 48 inches I got these four feet yep 48 so center is going to be two feet right here and that's where I'm going to cut that outside with gloves on because it's fiberglass okay and then also so we got that there I'm going to go ahead and find the middle of this just so I can mark it. So that's exactly five feet. Um, there. And we'll just mark the middle of this. So what's half of five feet? Two and a half feet. So that is two feet six inches. And we'll just call that. kind of gives me an idea. We're not going to do any of the heat gun melting uh, for these. I just might put like some rough tape around there as a grip. Alright, so I'm going to go outside, file that, that, um, cut this in half, come back in, and we'll put these like this. No reason to take the, the blunt tips off of those. We'll find the center of that, and that's where we are. All right, guys, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I took my file, and I got my, I did my marks. You can see right here, I started off, just to kind of show you what I did, I started off kind of flat like this, and then you can see I turned it down just a little bit. So I went this way, straight across, and then I kind of turned and went this way, turned and went this way, and then ended up kind of rounding that off like that. See? So that when the bow bends, the string should sit kind of right there. And I did the same thing on this other end. And I didn't get any better as I went, so... Um, if we need to unstring it and redo that, We'll see. So, our next step is measuring these, the, the bundles. So, the video that I saw um, said to put these driveway markers right where you just did those notches and measure the center. Now, since I've already measured the center of this, I'm actually gonna use this as my guide. So, if that's right there, and that's right there, I'm gonna go ahead and call this the center. Let's see where those are on each side. Yeah, that's about, that's about right. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this the center of these. Okay. Then it wants us to find the center of these two, which since these are now two feet long, the center is going to be at one foot right here. Okay. And then I think we're done with the tape measure. Now we're going to take these and tape them together just like this. 
except we're gonna we're gonna put these two on top of the other two. I wonder if there's a specific way to tape these. I am going to start off and just tear a piece off here. <laughs> That's my brother. Um, I'm going to start off like this because I think what we should do is have one of these on top like this and one of these on the bottom. But can I keep those even? Can I see all of my marks? To see this one is now not even with the rest of them anymore. So, and I don't think this has to be perfect, by the way. So I'm going to call that good enough and just tape these bad boys together right there. And let's see if that slides in or if we need more tape or less tape. Let's see what happens. Oh, it feels like a pretty tight, um, based on the amount of tape I have on it right now, it feels actually pretty tight. So I'm just going to push that right to the edge there. All right. So now we're done with that. Oh, two other tools that we needed that I didn't mention because of paracord. One is a lighter and the other is a pocket knife or scissors. So what I'm gonna do just to get this guy strung, um, I'm gonna do just a, um, overhand loop in the end and I'm sure everybody here knows how to do an overhand loop but just in case I take a bite like this and then I tie an overhand knot with that to get the loop in the end right so we need to make sure it's big enough that it's gonna go around this so do that. I think that will be big enough. We'll see. Okay. And then this is all I'm going to do for now. Um, I might do cut this and you know tighten it, cut it, snip this closer, burn it down. But that's going to be. And see, based on this. We might have to um, file a little more, but we'll see. So, the way they measured this, I think, and this is going to be trial and error, this part. So, to figure out what length your bowstring needs to be, you're going to start from this end, hold it where it would be, and then you actually need the loop to not go all the way to the end, right? So, um, I'm just gonna try right here and see what happens. Sorry about that, my camera died and my family got home at the same time. So, I don't know if you hear them or, but you might. Anyways, what I was saying was, we measured from there, I just chose a point about five inches. So this loop is about, I probably picked four inches, then tied the overhand knot for the loop. And now it's about um, almost six inches away from that. So we'll see what kind of um, bend that gives it. I'm just going to cut this off, so I, I didn't cut it off until I measured. So 
So we are essentially done. The only other thing to do is string this thing and I actually I might have to cut these grooves deeper but we'll go ahead and try it. So I've seen a lot of bow stringing and I am not going to do it correctly because of my camera setup. We are just going to do like this I think and then push down here until this until we get this to slide into place. And like I said, we might have to cut those a little bit deeper because they don't seem to be staying in. Okay, so I cut the notches and the diagonal lines a little bit deeper. So let's see if Wait, so you want to get this whole thing on here like this, right? So both ends are on, then you attach one end at the bottom. Now, again, there's the hip around. I'm just kind of on the ground, so I'm going to do this. And did we... <laughs> So, I think my, now I'm thinking that my paracord needs to be shorter, actually. Yeah, I think my paracord needs to be shorter. So, let's make the paracord <laughs> shorter. Okay, so I just filmed this whole thing about how I finally got it strung, and I don't guess the camera was on. But, um, yeah, so I took those loops and pulled the string through to make the, the string shorter. But this thing, man, whew, my 12-year-old is not going to be able to pull this. I'll tell you that right now. Um, I can barely draw this. And... I need to I mean it's not it's not staying in unless it's the string is really short but it's already like half drawn right there I don't know what the distance from the handle or you know the bow to the string usually is um, it's about my elbow right now but that is man that is serious that is not Oh, there's not a toy, man. We'll fire this thing tomorrow and see what we can get, but that's more than 45 pounds. I think somebody said this was like a 45-pound draw, maybe like right there. <sighs> yeah, we'll fire that bad boy tomorrow. All right, guys. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you on the ridge.